Hello fellow beings of Middle-earth and welcome back to the Whale of Darwinian campaign. This is the fifth episode and we're now going to capture Balador, which is going to be a great start on our expansion into Mordor. The Witch King and some other Nazgul, yeah they're coming in from this side. And at the moment we just have to deal with a couple of Moraningard which will be easily brought down with these crossbow, Mount of Thorn crossbowmen. So, it's going to be nice to see how far we can expand into Mordor today. And I definitely want to take Minas Mordor uh, at some time because we can get the Minas Ethel Gardens there. And that's like one of the only units we can get uh, from other places, I think. But um, this is going to be a very nice start on our Mordor expansion. And after we have taken Barador, I think we can just keep pushing into Urs Esolad and then divide our two armies, one towards um, the Black Gate and one towards Kirith Ongol and Minas Morgul. But I think we will be more than capable of bringing down Mordor pretty quickly, because they are of course under pressure from Gondor as well. Uh, let's just speed this up a little bit. Let's just have them like this. So they will do the damage they need to do. Alright, these guys should probably prepare from the onslaught from the great army. So let's just put them right over here. Let's try to get a couple of kills with Nurve today. You can actually just hit the Moran and God as well. I think you have a lot of ammo, so I think there's no hurry. Yeah, these guys are getting teared apart now. However, they got... Oh yeah, they're actually Temple Marksmen, so they have the Archer version. We are going to take a look at their stats, even though we have seen it uh, in many campaigns. I think it's always useful to show the stats of the Temple Marksmen and such. They're not within range just yet, though. Yeah, these guys were swiftly taken down. Now, should you focus over here? Probably, yeah. Let's try to give the Temple Marksman a welcoming hello. Let's bring him up here. The Thorn Crossbow Man, I think, will not be in, within range for a little, uh, for a while at least. These guys are the perfect target for these um, Crossbow Men, though. And I'm going to explain why now. So, you see, these guys have 22 total defense and 12 melee attack, which is very great, as well as 7 missile attack. So, they are exceptional. And they are also effective against armor, and they can use sharpened stakes, which makes them even more deadly. Uh, but you see, most of their stats come from the armor, so with our crossbow bolts, we should be able to bring them down quite easily, to be honest. Let's see if we can get a hit over here. But they do not only have these guys, they do of course have the Witch King himself. And this is going to be the last, king, last time we'll see the Witch King. So we're going to take a look at their stats as well. This is godly stats. They have 15 attack, 8 charge bonus, and 29 total defense. Just really good. Uh, you cannot recruit these as a mortar. Uh, you, it's only as the bodyguard of um, the Witch King that you get them. Yeah, look at this. This is really good. Alright, let's just get them at some distance. And we're probably going to focus most of our ammo on the temple marksman and of course the bodyguard of the witch king but I'm just going to keep uh, firing at these guys for as long as they just stay where they are like why not they are being brought down and let's see if we can ah they're hitting Nurven now but it should be uh, okay I think we have more archers than do they have at the moment but where is this force? Yeah, they're still just there. But they should be pretty efficient against Nurva because they're armor piercing. And that's really, really good for uh, such an archer unit. Alright, let's uh, use these uh, Thorn Crossbow men on. Yeah. Now we're going to see if the Temple Knights actually charge in the, into these guys. They're going to s bring them apart. But we do have the pikes here. Yeah, you see how even against pikes they will perform very well. They're just monsters. Let's get these guys out of here. And let's try to surround the cavalry with these guys. They're probably not going to let us do that. But we'll see how it goes. 
we just keep hitting. We don't want to lose food, but no. See how efficient these uh, arrows are? It's ridiculous. Let's try to get these guys and charge those over here. These guys can actually just stand here and shoot into the rear of these guys. And the orc band we don't really want to charge because they are, like after all, spearmen. But you charge the temple knights. We do, of course, use our spearmen and pikes against the temple knights. No surprise there. Let's just use the ability. So this army isn't... Yeah, it's, it's quite strong, but I wonder if it would have been able to bring down a very large army. So I think we were kind of lucky right here. Uh, where is our cavalry now? Oh yeah. So let's just bring them over here, I think. You can go down there. And you guys can actually just charge these orc band. These guys are being brought down pretty quickly though. We need to, uh, we need to charge these guys now. The uh, temple knights are doing pretty alright at the moment. But they will struggle soon enough. Let's get these guys around now and charge these buggers. Let's just get these guys involved over here. And these guys are actually... Yeah, they have lost... No, it's more like these guys have lost a lot. Alright, let's get them through. You guys can go back. Just charge into the Moranian Guard. Just keep hitting them for a little while. And I suppose... Yeah, you're doing fine. At the moment. One of you can go there, and the other one can charge the Leo, and you can charge these guys. Orc Band is not like, it's a trash unit, but you don't want to charge into them, because they do have uh, effective against cavalry, or whatever it's called. Uh, let's see. Skill against mounts. So you see, they actually slaughtered four of our horsemen right there, which is not that good for us. Now, let's just bring these guys out. We need to cycle charge over here. There we go. That's a nice charge completely surrounding them. Let's get out of there. And just, that was a proper charge. Yeah, it's quite dangerous to charge uh, Spearman in this patch. Let's end these guys. These guys are holding up pretty well though. Do we have any ammo left on anyone? I doubt it actually. The enemy are bad yeah, we bloodied. don't. They have lost half their men. And their morale will be very good because of the Witch King of course and the other Nazgul. Ah, they're finally starting to fall apart here. It's been a while now. And I guess the crossbow can charge over here and you guys are not even in use let's put you to use over here there we go temple marksmen can be brought down pretty quickly with cavalry they will hold up all right but when they are not many in the number it will not matter much i'm glad the witch king just stayed where he was though he might sometimes decide to pursue cavalry These guys will soon route, I'm sure. If we just give them a charge from both sides now, it should be fine. Alright, let's bring them down. Don't really want to charge into experiment like this, but I think they will route soon. Alright, how much you got? Let's see if we can get some shots right into these guys. Ah, oh, they're trying to escape now, it looks like. Let's get these temple knights. Ah, oh, they're going for our cavalry. That's what I was talking about earlier. Just get them out of there. We're going to get everyone out of here. Ah, oh, they're charging these guys. That was nice. They didn't get a proper charge. And we are completely surrounding these boys. The Alright, just hit the them. The and there the yeah, that the first general the goes down. At a three. Yeah, you can just get uh, out of here. You charge these guys. Just everyone can just charge these buggers now. Yeah, you still gotta 
work over here. Get out of there now. We as well. Let all of our spearmen just deal with the temple watch. You can stop your crossbows. Just want to make sure we capture all the troops so that they don't get anyone out of here. Just give the arc band a route. We can just shoot these guys for a little while. We're basically just going to send in all the infantry we got and try to capture them. That's usually how you capture these guys. It takes a while to get them all. They are quite strong, of course. There we go, and you guys. Just hit them, and you can just take out those. Ludovic as well, just come and see the victory we got here. Alright, the Witch King is left here. Now, I want you guys to comment down below what of, like, what of um, Sauron's servants do you enjoy the most or think is the most interesting? The Islings of Rune, the Haradrim, or the Orcs, or the Corsairs, like, there's so many of them. And you have the Mountain Orcs and you have, yeah, you have many kinds. But just uh, tell me who you find the most interesting and who you enjoy playing as in the game. And there he goes. The Witch King doesn't even fall last. A Black Numenorian stands to the last man. But it's just about... It's about to fall now. I can't really see where he is. Oh, he's... There is someone over here. Oh, of course, it's uh, the other Nazgul. And he will fall swift as well. But the good thing about this is when we capture Barador, these guys or the Nazgul will not return because we hold Barador. Uh, but as soon as you lose Barador again, they will respawn. Alright, this was a nice battle. Mounted Thorn crossbowmen getting a lot of kills as well as the Darinian infantry. Good job. The Citadel Guard, it looks like. It might be Pippin, but I don't remember who this is. I actually don't remember. It might be Berrigan or Bergil, but I don't see why he would cry like that. But it definitely looks like the streets of Minas Tirith. Alright, so now we're getting Barador, which is very, very useful. After all, it's a huge moneymaker, and it's a huge recruitment center for Mordor as well. So let's just capture it right away. And we're just going to exterminate, just to get... Just to make that the culture is fine here. Because this is one of the most evil places on Earth. In Arda. Let's see here. Ah yeah, just look at the mining network itself. That's a huge moneymaker. But we want to make sure we build the standing stones right away. And now I think even though the enemy might be able to bring up a lot of armies, I don't think they can really stand up towards what we have here. Now I'm tempted, should we just push out straight away? We should probably wait for this army. But we do want these guys to bring down Seregos first. Or at least try, and we'll see what will happen. But I guess we can just... Yeah, they're even going to be fine with just leaving one unit there now, because we exterminated the population. I'm just going to quickly bring these guys down, and I will see you right after. And there, the last orcs go down. It's a complete slaughter with these Mountain Thorn crossbowmen. Like, you can utilize them to so much potential. First you can use all their bolts and then you can just use them as this cavalry. Clear victory. Which makes them a dreaded enemy. I think Horsa Archers are one of the most overpowered units in Medieval 2, definitely. But you need to use them wisely or they can easily be one of the worst units. Because they do not have a lot of missile attack. 
but if you use them as skirt around the unit and shoot them in the backs, you're going to get so much kills. Let's just get them out of the way. And I think we can just head out to be honest. And just Yes, my lord. This tower will keep vigil over the land. Just see what awaits us here. Yeah, they don't the really have a lot of resistance over here. I think we can just head straight for Yves Estelad. Yes, my lord. We might also want to wait for Captain Oduwase. Alright, I need to find out very quickly what uh, Tower of Wine means. I'm going to check that in um, Sindarin and I will be right back because I think we need to rename this tower to a proper name. Alright, I think this is correct. The Tower of Wine. If I'm mistaken, if I'm mistaken, please correct me. I'm no... I cannot speak Elvish, I just use some kind of um, word list. But I think it works out. This is quite cool. Wow, we're making so much money now. Let's hope they take Seragos so that we can just snap it from them right away. We have this army upcoming as well. Yes, I think Mordor don't stand much of a chance. And they will be brought down very quickly. Now I have pre-built much stuff uh, everywhere to be honest. Just so that we don't have to kind of do so much managing today because that was like the entire last episode and I want to get some action today. Ilanin. Let's see what the Kingdom of Dale want. Uh, it's just a bribing. Yeah, I forgot about those two generals. They're just going to stand there for the entire campaign probably. Ah, okay. Not entirely. But often they might want to do such things. But they have at least removed the bribing opportunity, which is very good because it had no place in Middle Earth to do, I think. Except for maybe the evil men. I'm not sure. Could uh, fit in there. Ah, the weaponsmith skilled. I think that's pretty nice. Gorgoroth lost. Mount Gundabad besieged. It's going very badly for Mordor and its allies. Yeah, it's just a melee we weapon bonus. Uh, we have these guys, which we have to deal with now. Your order. And we can't just uh, leave them. Ah, they actually defended it. Or they might have... Um, yes. Your order. Let's see if yes. they just left. Yeah, they have just left for uh, Baratur yes. now. So we're just gonna have to stay and defend right here. Your will, my I'm gonna stick you. These guys might attack us. That's my of no concern. As you wish. We can go no Your orders, my lord. We need yes. to get some military access, wasn't that? My yeah. Yes, Let's my get lord. the diplomat over here and get some military victory. access with the Varics of Khan because, yeah, our relations is already terrible because we're marching my through lord. their lands. Approaching quietly. Tomorrow's journey planned out. Yeah, I think just holding here is the the wisest thing to do now uh, we could probably just send out more units so just recruit everything we can as usual and just have those troops streaming in it's really effective all right let's just send these guys out We also have these guys As you which yes, can man. walk with Forthwin. And we can recruit troops uh, pretty closely now. Can't uh, recruit any ships just yet. We just gotta get rid of this. Where is the ships now? How oh, they might. Uh, yeah, they're over here. Really want to get those out of the way. Can recruit ships here? No. These guys were stationed here just to prevent Dol Guldur from attacking us. When we decide to attack Dol, Dol Guldur, we can take them and sweep. I think we're going to wait until we get some elites though. I'd really want My to see Lord. the elites. Defending Barad Gwyn will probably work out pretty well. Considering it's a very easy to defend uh, this uh, settlement. I think that's a pretty good idea. Just let... Let's just wait for the reinforcements. 
and then just rush out and bring down everything they have. But Minas uh, Morgul is definitely our next target now. Or like, we're going to go in the direction of the south instead of the north direction. Even though we're going to start boarding ourselves up in Varfest. A Varin Smith Guild, that sounds really good. Let's see what that gives us. Yeah, nice. Barad Gwyn is going to be a nice recruitment center in a while anyways. So that's just perfect. Right, this fleet is pretty heavy now. If we don't win now, I'm kind of... Then I'm just going to be really mad. Let's just get one more ship. We saw how easily we were, we were defeated last time. Alright. Yeah, a lot of shit just got built. That's wonderful. We're the largest faction. That's just wonderful. Your will, my lord. And let's just send there. troops to down south. As you wish. We'll make camp here. My lord. Yes, we can send these guys. Yes. March to exhaustion, continuing as you wish. We'll make camp here. Orders. By your command. March to exhaustion, continuing later. Yeah, these guys can just stay for a little while. I'll recruit some more. It will be nice to see some real elites here soon. The Paladins of the Witten Court, for example, I think they're pretty good. Definitely going to be interesting to see them yeah, in action. Let's get these two as well. And let's work with the relations yes, with Variax of Khand. What is it you see? Oh yeah, we have already given them military access actually. Let's just give them map info. And let's try to buy some map info from them as well. I accept. You would speak let's hope that will more? help with the relations. Just gotta see what Land stay in Hub now. Words with yeah, they don't really. I think. Yeah, this is probably still held by Mora. But I don't think it's worth going Your for own, just own. at the moment. Orders. Ah, this is perfect. Joining this orders. army is now. have a proper general as well. Let's just my see own. if we can find. Orders. I kind of want to wait a little Are bit with this army. They we still have this army and. Today. Meeting them inside Baradwin would be much more useful. Ah, our spies over here. Let's just take a look at what they got down here. We could easily send a few units down there. Yeah, I think we're just going to wait for these guys and these guys to arrive. Yes, my lord. And just going to wait for the ships here, and then we're going to attack this stupid fleet, which have proved to be a real issue for us. Like, just think about how much money they have wasted for us. We have to recruit ships every now and then. And in addition, we are getting upkeep on our ships. So it's just, it's a really stupid situation. And if we lose the next battle as well, I think I'm just going to give up on taking out those ships. And I have no idea how to deal with them. We must make a stand. We yeah, are they seized. started attacking us. No big deal. We should be able to defend ourselves, I think. But there is one of the easiest settlements to bring down or defend, I mean. As long as you have... Ah, Master Merchant Skill. That looks really good. Was that in Sant Anui or Karasant? Just want to see what these skills do. I usually don't check them out. Increase in tradable goods. That looks good. Ships okay, ready. let's get. Oh, uh, yeah, one more turn. Sent a couple more troops. Let's send out this large force. Yes. We can go no and we now have the standing stones. We're just gonna get the culture you. up here really quickly. So we're going to go straight for the tomb. All right, you guys are just going to head out here, and you will reinforce as soon as these guys, as we have defended against these guys. Now, should we send these guys south? I'm almost tempted to do that, 
and just then clean up over here. I think I'm going to do that a little diversion. And you can just keep yes. going probably down here. Your orders. Yes. Without question. We gotta go towards Gondor as well. Oh yeah, we were actually supposed to go down here, weren't you? Alright, but I think uh, in Karasant we do want to build this winery, which is one of the special buildings we get when we take the human choice, I've been told. So I'm going to take that before the night stables and see how overpowered this building is. Yeah, it will give us uh, some decent trade and just increasing our, our population growth at this point is going to be pretty nice. Alright, uh, let's uh, see if we got all of these guys are just headed down on their way. They will be here in a while, but there's no rush, definitely not. I hope to see some of the new troops today, but uh, it takes quite a while to re like build all of these places. It takes yeah, only three or more turns here though. And then we'll see some regent axe guard and spear guard. Let's just check how out this force though. I think we're going to see the the defense of Baradur, which I think is uh, actually quite interesting because we didn't see the settlement, of course. But I think we do have enough forces to deal with these guys. They do have the Sauron's wheel, but they don't even have a proper general. And we have a lot of crossbows, and we have Nurva. And we're just going to make a choke point and they're going to struggle big time. That's perfect. I'm almost tempted to start buying settlements off if we, our economy keeps um, rising like it is now and just expand with just, build, with just uh, buying buildings. I think Dorvinian have, have proved to have one of the strongest economy I have ever had. Like Gondor have a very strong economy as well. But you have so many enemies, so you can't really concentrate on one enemy at a time. But with Darwinian, you're just not having as many enemies at a time. And that Sea of Rune is just so overpowered in that matter. Alright, let's bring these guys up here. And let's bring down this stupid fleet. Alright, these guys will attack this navy next turn. We got some more... Troops in Mistrand. Mistrand, yeah. Let's get these guys down. Let's just merge these guys. Fourth win is on his way. These guys didn't attack, so we're just going to try to reinforce if we can, of course. Like, there's always reason to reinforce if we can. Ah, uh, over here we could actually send. I think we could send these guys right here. They might probably yes, recruit a couple more units, but at the moment it's completely fine. And let's check out that settlement very quickly. Alright, let's just uh, make sure we are building stuff over here. I think I have, yeah. We can probably take these guys out now and get rid of them. Not long until uh, the Burka can upgrade. Six more turns until we get the night stables here. Your will, my lord. Yes. We can go no further today. Yeah, that's just a normal stables. That's just a normal Your town will, guard. As you wish, orders. Three more turns until we can get the region's ball guard, which is one of the best crossbows in the game, in my opinion. At least their missed attack is uh, enough. Or it's what you need. Yes, my lord. As you, you just go to Gondor and I make an alliance and tomorrow. get some tomorrow. map info. And yeah, our money is skyrocketing. I think we want to buy actually when I think about it. You could probably go back to Rune. Stopping here. And we could buy Sergos from them. I think tomorrow. that's perfect. Sergos is a real money maker as well. I think it makes already like 2000 a turn. So we're going to earn in the money very, very quickly. And it would be wise to get that settlement. Yes, we are going to get the battle for Barador. Which I think is interesting for you guys to see this settlement in its glory.
All right, we're just up against trash, except for the Saurus will, which have very nice stats. They're effective against armor. They have 17 total defense, but they rely much on their armor themselves. So we're going to use these ta Torn Guard to bring them down. And they also, they can be brought down pretty efficiently with uh, missiles. But I will see you on the battlefield and the battle for Barador. Barad Gwyn, we are here. They are besieging us. They are going over the bridge. And inside we have set up a very, very proper defense indeed. We are just going to hold this center. And here we have all of our crossbowmen. And we have Nudova as well. Which is like, this is the perfect way to use your crossbows. Like, I think we're going to rack up kills with them. So it's going to be interesting to see how they will do against this shield wall right here. Now these Darwinian infantry have been proved to be very very efficient in holding for longer periods of time. So they are basically the perfect unit for this kind of purpose. Just holding the enemy for a long long while. And let's see, yeah they will emerge at once. Let's just no give them eyes. a couple of wallets of these guys. We can just start pretty simple and just use one unit at a time. On the other hand, these guys have so much armor, I think we can just hit them for real. Because this is, after all, the Orc Mollers, which is will get shredded by these kind of missiles. Because they have very little defense and almost all of it comes from the armor. And then they just have two defense afterwards and that's not going to be enough for these guys so they're going to get crushed but these guys will probably get hit pretty hard because these guys are armor piercing so they will even though these guys are armor piercing as well they're not the ideal unit to face the orc mons with you see they have already dropped pretty fast but we will of course give them hell but now they are just rushing in all their units so we're just going to give them hell with all the units we got they're already struggling with morale issues though because they have no proper general so here you see how we want to defend this settlement. Let's see. Ah, they're just trying to run straight through here. That's not going to work. This settlement is really buggy by the way. So I'm sorry if uh, it looks weird sometimes. I'm trying to do my best here. Let's hit these guys in the back as well. Is Ludwig actually getting shot? It doesn't really look like it. I think we need to... We might need to position him otherwise. Let's try this one. Definitely want to get to use of him, of him, uh, of his arrows. Let's put these guys in properly though. They are, they do have a lot of troops, which is going to be their. What are you going to rely on here? But as soon as we get Nurva to fire a couple of shots as well, should be enough. Let's see. Yeah, these guys will fire now, which is excellent. There we go. And we can't follow the arrows properly. We have already slaughtered. Yeah, it's pretty even at this point, but now as new arrows will start to fall into this blob, we're going to get a lot of kills here. And there's constant bolts being thrown down here. And in backup, we do, of course, have the cavalry, which can charge in if need be. So I think we are, we are good. Let's just get these guys a bit closer and have these guys in as reinforcements as well. You can just give a little bit more mass. Like that's gotta be a terrifying view, just look at this. Now the Sirens will have entered though. Definitely want to target them extra. Even though you will hit every unit nonetheless. But as soon as I, as we kill the general, they will all be on their way back. But you see the sounds will is already trying to get through here, which is not good. We might have left a little bit too little forces over here. We might want to send these guys over here actually, when I think about it. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. Even though the sounds will are arm pushing against these guys. They should suffer pretty hard. Pray and we still haven't used half our ammo, except for these guys, which is very great. 
I just hit them now and just try to hold them back. Yeah, and they're all struggling with morale. Almost everyone. They still have a couple more forces over here though. Let's see how much they got. Alright, some Oracles which is stuck on the bridge. If they actually had sent in all their infantry, they might actually have still a chance, to be honest. Because it's quite even. Like, they're only 6% behind, and if they sent in all, they might have been able to push, push through here. But it's, of course, the AI we're talking about here. I want to see these guys fire their bolts. Yeah, these guys are definitely going to rack up kills. They have already gotten one experience. Really want to get that side view. Uh, can we just get it? It's kind of hard to navigate in this place. Let's get this view though. Just see them at close quarters. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're definitely getting a lot of kills. Yeah, we finally started to see some routing here. Let's just use the ability. And I gotta remember to check what this ability does. I still haven't checked that out. How much does the Saru have, have left? Only 90. Alright. In the next patch you are going to be able to recruit a lot of um, mod or, or like um, Varags and Easterlings and Southron units out of different places in Modder if you build a certain building. Which I think is a nice addition for Modder. I think we can actually start pushing now. They are already struggling big time. Yeah, they're starting to rot now. Yeah, let's just uh, focus on our mods now. Still have a couple of units here, but they are being pushed back at this point. Let's bring the bring forth the cavalry just to cause more morale issues. And there we go. That's going to be it for a lot of troops. Let's end the arrow spam and just bring down them as we can. And these guys are just still just stuck on the bridge it looks like. We don't want to rush out all of our units so uh, I think we rather want to use our cavalry to capture them. Let's do that instead. And these Arc Monsters will get brought down pretty quickly. Wow, these Thorn Guard, they, they did get a lot. They were brought down pretty efficiently, actually. I think we should just bring down these guys. I don't want them to rush out too eagerly. Because uh, pretty often the enemy will come back, and if we're caught outside on the bridge, that's going to be really bad for us. Let's place these guys right here. Let's see how these guys are doing. These guys might be coming in now, I think. These two units can just capture the last remainders. There's still some Sardis wheel here. Yeah, they're ratting now, actually. Let's see if we have met some enemy forces out on the bridge. Yeah, we have. Let's just get them inside again and let's see what will happen. Let's... Yeah, these guys should not go out for suicide charge and rat neither should you. Let's hope they will attack us and just not stay on the bridge. Yeah, it looks like they're rushing in now. We still have these guys, so... Let's just prepare ourselves. And I don't think you're going to be the sacrifice here. Alright. Bring down hell upon them, boys. And I think we can actually just surround these guys at this point. Just hitting them from all fronts is going to be very efficiently. Or efficient is rather the way. It will not take long before these guys rot. 
Let's not use these uh, arrows, I think. Yeah, and there we stop it. You halt. We should have put these guys in guard mode, to be honest. And it's only orc archers left. I think we can just hit them with all our infantry now. Let's use our cow as well and just hit these guys and see what will happen. Yeah, they will go down pretty quickly. And there we go. I think the general is going to get killed right there. Yeah. That's wonderful. So we have successfully defended Barado. Wow, there's still a lot here. All right, we're just going to rush out our troops then. I thought it was all over. That was mistaken. Where are you guys? Yeah, come over here. Let's just use our cavalry here. I think that's going to be the plan. And the rest of these guys can just line up right here really quickly. They got Moran and Guard and Orkost. Alright. Go behind over there. You guys hit here, you hit here, you hit here. These guys actually still have some ammo left. I'm going to let them use the rest. Nurva shouldn't be far away. Yeah, he's right here. And as soon as these guys hit, I think it's over for these guys for good. Let's see if we can get a nice crossbow hit into these guys in the rear. Yeah, okay, that was only a couple of arrows left. Let's uh, bring in the cavalry now and just make them rout. Right here is perfect. These guys are just trying to push right through for the town center, actually. That's not going to work out for them. They're just going to rout as soon as these cavalry hit them. Almost. That didn't, that didn't become a proper charge. Just hit them with everything we got. Even though it's pretty stupid to hit them with these guys. I kind of thought these guys would uh, route much earlier now. Yeah, now they're starting to route. The battle is very much and there we go. The enemy army That's going to be the, the end of them. them Some down. free experience here, boys. Take what you want. And we lost 52%, but uh, of course we do have reinforcements on our way, so that's no problem at all. Let's capture the last remainders, and there's still someone over there as well, but that's fine. And that was a successful defense of Barador. On loss 631. And Nurva, oh, look at all those kills. What about the crossbow? Yeah, 325. They got even more kills than Nurva. And that's what I said. When they got the proper angle, they're deadly monsters. Even being better than the Elven Elites. Just imagine what uh, our best crossbow unit could have done in that situation. We have seen the Battle for Baradur once before in the Isengard campaign when we brought down Mordor. And this being is no more in this part of the land. He has vanished. He's vanished. And the reinforcement is right there, which is perfect. And I think we can just head out. And while one of the armies uh, goes south and take out Morgost. We can just go for Irsh Estelad and we'll be cleaning. Yeah, we'll be cleaning up arcs. There we go. Oskiliath under attack. Fall of the Riddermark. And look at the reinforcements. They are indeed glorious. Dwarven friend. One plus mining income. That's really good. Ah, oh, this might be because of the 
I think this is probably because of the human choice that you get some kind of bonuses. I do not know though, but it looks like it might be so. And Mahad. Yeah, we're building stuff right away. Yes, my Fourth win will be there in one turn, With actually, honor. that's really quick. Alright, now let's just leave. Orders, we are going to end the episode soon, but um, I'm just going to bring out a couple of units. My lord. Yes, my lord. I think we Your can just will, leave behind most orders. of this. Your will, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Probably just... We, we are going to Your get a will, yeah, yes, sizable force here. Uh, and we don't really need all this cavalry. We have so much cavalry already. Orders, We're not going to be able to now properly will, use these lord. guys anyways. So why not just leave them behind and then be able to yes, properly lord. defend this place. Your will, my lord. I guess we could leave some of these guys as well. And Nurva, head out. We can go, no further, my lord. go straight for Urs Astrolad. And we will clean up uh, Morigos as well. We do have these guys going for it. And these guys will of course go here as anyways. Alright, let's just get to... Approaching and buy that settlement. Alright, I'm just going to extend the episode a little longer. I'm, I'm enjoying myself pretty much now. So let's see here. Yeah, the Athala Rangers. Could we get them over here as well? Yeah, we can. Let's take a look at their stats though. I haven't really seen them. 6 missile attack, 8 melee attack. <laughs> they are pretty good, but considering the time we're getting them, it's not going to be too much. It's not going to be that interesting. This looks like a stadium, wow. Theater. Now let's take a look here. 2 turns and 5 turns still. Yeah, we're still waiting a little bit here. But I'm just going to start besieging these places before yes, we end my the episode. Lord, my lord. And I'm, I do want to be um, by Sergos as well. <laughs> After I've taken Irsh Estelad, I'm probably going to take out Dorthang. And then I'm going to wait for the other army to take out Morigost. And then it will head towards Kirth Ongol and Minas Morgul. While Nurve head northwards and take out the black gate. So we're just going to bring down two of their settlements in like one go. But if I'm not mistaken, that should actually lead to the black gate and the Minas Morgul script, which means Mordor will get two armies here. But Your I'm not order. certain, but that could yes. actually be the case, Tomorrow's which we out. kind of want to I be shall able continue to be careful Ah, finally, the barracks is here. I thought we got the barracks. Oh, we probably, yeah, we don't actually have enough uh, culture here. Oh, that sucks. Alright, we'll have to wait a little bit longer then. And just normal stables in Bar Eraman Erikis and Mataram. Yeah. My lord. Can't do it. Your will, my lord. Let's just get them streaming into the lands. Orders, my lord. Yes. And Tharband is completely As ours for taking, to be honest. Yes. We don't have much over here. We do have a General Lundus, which is headed towards Morigos, it looks like. Yes. I'm gonna stick you with honor. Yeah, there's... Oh, they actually got some Olagai here. That's interesting. This it's going to be nice to see them in, the uh, over here. We shall engage. Yeah, this is enough to defend for now. We will of course bring down this place pretty quickly and can just head right back if we need to. Yes, my lord. My lord. Alright, I want to do one more turn. Let's just bring these guys will probably just head out on their own though. Yes, my lord. Being able, like, one of the most important things in deck is just sending armies. Uh, in time so that you have reinforcements when you start running out of troops so that you don't get pushed back 
That's a mistake a lot of people do, and it's very common, and I used to do it in my other days. But if you just prepare troops and you're going to be pretty fine. Alright, let's get the stables here. No, let's get the backs next. Hero Shrine. Alright, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, we have 46,000 now. We're Tomorrow's definitely going to be able to buy now. Sarivasta, I think. And the next episode will take out Irs Estolar and Tharband. But it remains to be seen what enemy we should go up against next. That will probably be Dol Guldor, I think. Yeah. Ah, uh, it looks like uh, Gondor actually holds Minas Smorgul, but I'm definitely going to buy it uh, from them if uh, possible. Alright. Let's just buy Sergos and we'll Your orders, my lord. end the episode. Yeah, these guys will just head down here, which is fine. Let's try to buy Sergos now. Uh, let's see. Sergos. They hold pretty few regions at this point. They haven't taken back the region in the south, the capital. Like, is 10,000 enough? Let's just take a look. That's very demanding. Yeah, it's because this settlement is very, very wealthy. Let's try 30,000. We have enough money anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That's still very demanding. Even though they are like bankrupt. Alright, let's try to trade it on. Let's just uh, check. Hmm. What would we. What could we trade for that region? What would actually be quite useful is if we take out Tharband, then we just trade it for Sergos and they will get the southern provinces and we will get the northern provinces. I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, so it's going to be an issue to get that settlement. Alright, see, here we got them. The region's bow guard, 10 missile attack and effective against armor of course. That's going to be a nice addition to our army. We are the Kingdom of Gondor is the largest faction. Yeah, this is really weird. But they probably hold a lot of land. Alright, but that's going to be this episode. I hope you enjoyed the expansion into Mordor. We're going to see some nice yes, action here. And I do want to build up a super force. And we're going to try to bring down Dol Guldor with one large army. Just like I'm doing in my Erebor campaign, where I'm trying to bring down Ruin and Mordor with one or like two giant elite armies with just Sons of the Fall, Dragon Slayers, Hammers of Gundabad, Dwarven Catapults, yeah, basically all of that. Uh, but that's going to be it, so I will see you guys for the next episode. Uh, I'm having my axioms now, so I'll try to keep uploading every second day, but um, you never know. I'm also trying to get a lore video up on the same time. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, leave feedback about what um, Servants of Sauron you prefer. And um, do leave a like and subscribe. And support me via Patreon if you like. And I'll see you guys for the next episode.